getting around a city like Berlin, the subway is the best choice. To reach their destinations, more than 80% of all passengers need to make a connection. That's where people have to wait the longest, every day. In the most annoying case, passengers narrowly miss their connecting train. Who wouldn't want a better connection? In the evening, this amounts to a wait of up to 10 minutes. What would a better schedule look like? Consider this. These passengers just barely missed their connecting train. The next one will not arrive until nine minutes later. This happens again and again for every train. Let us change the timetable to reduce the waiting time. We delay the blue train ever so slightly, so that connecting passengers at our current station won't have to wait. But now other passengers will miss their connection. We change the schedule once more, and once again we create problems elsewhere. Ultimately, we end up changing the schedule of the purple train, so that we haven't gained anything. Some delays are unavoidable. In the real world, the problem becomes even more complex. As many as 170 connections need to be coordinated if more than 1 million passengers per day are to reach their destination quickly. This was the challenge for the Berlin subway. Their chief planner teamed up with mathematicians of the research center Matheon. Short waits were not the only goal. Further conditions had to be met. For instance, waits at this station must be avoided no matter what. Even in areas that no passenger will notice, intelligent planning is a necessity. At this terminal, incoming trains must clear a switch before departing trains are allowed to leave. Matheon researchers have developed techniques to solve this difficult problem. Each point in this animation represents a subway schedule that's possible in theory. The number of possible schedules exceeds the number of atoms on our planet. Even the fastest computers cannot check all the schedules. Only mathematics is capable of ruling out entire sets of unsuitable timetables at once. Once a practicable schedule, highlighted in green, has been found, the resulting weights are calculated. Better schedules eliminate inferior ones, highlighted in red. Again, entire classes of unfavorable schedules are ruled out. Eventually, such techniques find the best timetable for the given set of constraints. Ultimately, the members of the Combinatorial Optimization and Graph Algorithms group at TU Berlin were able to turn these mathematical ideas into real-world technology. Since 2005, the Berlin subway has been operating on a provably optimal schedule, designed by Matheon. The facts. The average waiting time went down from 2.48 minutes to 2.5 minutes. The percentage of fast connections went up from 55 to 60. The maximum stopping time has been reduced from three and a half to two and a half minutes. And finally, the schedule can be operated with one train less. Mathematics saves us time. Sometimes it even makes us happy. Because there are better ways of spending your time than waiting for a train. <laughs>